All right, so at this point we've gone through and we've built our blog, we've installed it, we've purchased a domain name, we've purchased hosting, we've learned how to get articles on there and use WordPress, we've learned how to optimize our articles, and we've learned how to get our articles out to the public so everybody can see your stuff and you can start to get some great traffic from your articles. Now is when you have to kind of evaluate where you want your blog to go. Are you happy just having it be like an online journal where people can read it and participate in it? Or maybe are you looking to make some money from it? So a lot of people write blogs um, kind of with the sole purpose or maybe half the purpose in being to make money from it. And there's a bunch of different ways that you can do it. Uh, and this is another landscape that's constantly changing. So some of the things I'm going to show you here may be relevant now. Maybe the companies will change, but at least kind of get some ideas from what I'm going to show you here and kind of implement it, see how it's going to work best for you because there's kind of cons and pros, pros and cons to each of these options here. I'm going to talk through some of those here, but you need to find out what's going to work best for your blog specifically uh, just because, again, you don't want people coming to your site and having it look overly advertised or um, maybe just kind of spam you from just having too many links and uh, people will really start to kind of downgrade your content thinking that you're writing it just to get clicks or just to get people to purchase stuff. Uh, people want to feel like they're actually being informed and not just sold to. So you got to take all this stuff with a grain of salt and see what's going to work best for you. So the first thing I want to show you is adding banner ads to your website. Now it's probably one of the oldest forms of advertising um, for online websites and a lot of people use this. Personally I've never found it to be a great source of revenue. People get what's called banner, banner blindness where they just kind of stop seeing banners after a while. They're so used to seeing you know, things rotating and flipping and blinking or just the sidebar area where an ad usually appears where they just immediately click off of it or you know if a pop-up comes off they get rid of it um, or they just don't even look at the sidebar because they know it's where all the ads are. Again, people that don't really want to be sold to, they want to find good content and kind of move on. But if there's something that's relevant to them, then they may have more of a chance of clicking on it because it may relate to the story. So one of the best places to do that is Google AdSense. Uh, now if you have a Google account, which you should at this point because it's important to have analytics set up on your website and um, a sitemap created for your website and all those things you're going to want to submit to Google. Uh, so having a Gmail account is going to be how you get into that. If you have that, um, I would also apply for an AdSense account. Now some people get these right away. Some people say that your blog has to be up for a certain amount of time or you have to have a certain amount of content. Um, maybe wait until you get a little bit of traffic coming to your website. Maybe wait till you've got you know five or ten posts on your website before you try applying to this. And these guys can uh, deny you for just random reasons. Uh, they can also be very particular once you have an account set up as far as um, you know, just all of a sudden canceling your account and taking the money that you had in the account because they think that maybe people are clicking on your banners maliciously or you're clicking on your banners. All that stuff can get you banned pretty quick from AdSense, but on the flip side of it, AdSense is a great source because they look at the content that's on your website. So if you're writing an article about food or cooking or something like that, they're going to serve relevant banners uh, according to the content that's on your website. So again, you have a cooking website, they're going to show banners that have information about pots and pans or food or different things like that that is relevant to that article. So definitely consider AdSense, but if you don't want to do AdSense, there are a lot of other options out there. Um, these are just a few of them. Again, these change from day to day. Uh, there's always something different going on out there. Media.net is a good one. Uh, these guys have different types of banners that work, may work on your website, maybe a little bit better than Google. Uh, but again, this is up to you to kind of take a look at, see what you can apply for, and what's actually going to work best on your website. Uh, this is a good company here. Infolinks is not a bad one. I've used this one before too. They have different types of banner ads. They have some very common ones, um, but they also have like banner ads that come up on the sidebar of the website or maybe that pop up from underneath. Uh, they have all different kinds and they're always changing their types of banners as well. Uh, pretty easy to get into. They make a pretty decent amount of money from when people click on your banners, but it's a good resource to use. Uh, Revenue Hits, that's another good one. Uh, different types of banner ads that they have. Uh, consider taking a look at them. Now I'm going to put a list of all these websites in uh, the account here so you can download it. But again, remember that these may change from day to day. Uh, Chiquita's been around for a long time. I'm not a big fan of their banners, but some people swear by them and some people have good success with them. Again, it just depends on what's going to work best for you. Adversal, uh, another good 
company. They have uh, different types of banners as well. You can take a look at them. Uh, Clicksword.com, another older um, art advertising company that's been out for a while. They've got all different kinds of solutions, so definitely take a look at them. Bidvertiser, they're a good one. Uh, again, you can monetize your traffic by having all sorts of different types of ads. You can see they've got pop under ads and domain name redirects and all different ways that you can make money from them. Uh, last one is Intellilinks. Uh, again, just different kinds of banner ads and things that you can add to your website so take a look at these guys at least start here but feel free to do a search as well for different types of online advertising or ad advertising companies because uh, again everybody everyone may offer something a little bit different both in the amount of money that you get every time somebody clicks on one of these banners but also there's a different payout rate so maybe one will say hey as soon as you make 25 bucks we'll send you a check another one may be a minimum of a hundred dollars uh, just kind of fill them all out. Feel free to kind of mix and match some of these different options here and see what works best for you.